hey, Spring La Fay, Simple Tarot. Okay, this is going to be a reading for the sign of Leo, and this is going to be um, a New Year's reading. So these are, um, for the collective, these readings are, so it may be for you and it may not. You know. uh, they are timeless, though. For Leo, I want an overall energy for the new year. I would like to have one card for an overall energy for the sign of Leo for the new year. Overall energy. Woo, the world changes. Cycles ending, new ones beginning. Endings bring forth beginnings. This is beautiful. This is like lessons learned, you know, moving out of, of uh, stagnant stagnation for many, moving into um, newness. Oh my goodness. And for some of you, this is actually moving. Um, maybe traveling. It's, it's endings and, and newness and it's beautiful. It's a good feeling. Okay, now I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take actually um, two cards for the present moment. Oh, many choices, many choices, many, de many decisions. But let me tell you now, with these choices, because I'm drawn to all of the colorful beings inside of the cups, you know, some choices, uh, now I'm getting pick your evils. Okay, you know, some choices can be paths. So this may be many paths and you need to choose wisely. You need to follow your intuition when making your decisions. Um, also with this choices card here, it feels like, you know, I'm getting the words illusions. I'm seeing that card. I don't have those up here, but um, of my cards, illusions and delusions. Um, you know, you really need to look at things clearly. I feel like you need to look at things clearly because you've got this ending and you've got this chance for this new beginning and you just need to see things clearly. Don't be um, delusioned. Don't um, be seeing illusions, you know. Really follow your intuition. Look at things clearly. If you're not you're not clear about it, you know, sit on it a while. Um, you know, when making these choices about all these options, sometimes too many options are not a good thing. And it feels like that um, you're at that spot where you're going to be really having to make some decisions now. Uh, we're going to look at your abundance and prosperity or the way that you make a living or take care of yourself. You know, it's that type of thing. If you don't work a job, maybe you draw money. You know, it's just got to do with how you take care of yourself. We're going to take three cards for that. Okay. This feels like for me that um, you've been saving. You know, whatever you, you've been doing, you've been saving money or trying to, it feels like for some of you stay afloat, not even really saving. For some of you, this is, um, the reason I said savings for some of you is because I've seen the card out of here, out of this deck, um, right here. But for some of you, this is about really just barely making it, you know, and you know, you feel like you've got a lot to offer. You feel like you have a whole lot to offer with this uh, Queen of Pentacles. And not only in the way of what you you bring to the table, but also in the way of love and, and caring and how you treat people. You know, you've got the Ace of Cups here. And yes, that can fall over into our love part of this. But this is about really, I feel like, embracing and grabbing a hold of that emotion that you have to offer to others because you've got this Queen of Pentacles here, you know, and this is, uh, she has a whole lot of emotion. This does not have to be a female, though. This is just an energy uh, to offer to others, you know. Now, I'm going to go into the romance part of this, the romance and love part of this. If you are not looking for romance in your life, if you're, you're done with that or, you know, you're at the age where you just, you're not looking for romance, uh, then this part of it, may not be for you that I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to take a Romance Angel for Leo. One for Leo. Are going to throw it or am I going to pick it for Leo? One more time. It's right there. 
Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Now, that's two people. That's not one, that's two, and I'm drawn to that. So it may be time to really, um, you know, go somewhere with someone. Take someone somewhere. You know, your person. Uh, get to know each other if, that, if you don't know them very well. Or um, take things further. We'll see where the tarot takes us on this. Also, because we're going to get four, four tarot cards for Leo for love and romance. Four tarot cards for Leo, love and romance. There's the first one. Okay. Three of Swords. So for some of you, you got hurt. Something hurt you. You know, that's that's a broken heart. Um, and you've been just balancing your emotions, balancing your life, really, you know, getting things back to normal as much as possible. Uh, really looking at things, really, you know, going slow um, and trying to figure your life out is what it feels like. Working very hard to do that. Now, on the bottom, and I'm not usually drawn to this, but I have to say, I, I also got this with uh, Virgo um, on the bottom, actually. It's the Three of Cups, and this is a feeling like that there's someone from your past that either you want to communicate with or they want to communicate with you. And I feel like that, um, yeah, and that may be something that you thought had ended, you know, there's the death card. You may have thought that ended, or maybe they thought that ended. And it may have, or it may not have. So that's what I have for you. Until next time, bye.